It's the highest rated show in all of cable television. This is Monday Night Raw. This arena is so loud I can barely hear myself think. That's good. Maybe we won't have to listen to you speak. Michael Cole, can you feel it? Something special is going down tonight. I just know it. The bruiser weight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The bruiser weight. Pete Dunn. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure. That Dunn derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. himself as a record-breaking champion and a main eventer wherever he competes. Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. In his first four months, he won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles. It's a meteoric rise in NXT and continues to improve week after week. Lee has acquired his target here tonight. Guys, this is going to be fun to watch. X marks the spot for Wesley. Look at the eyes of Pete Dunne staring daggers straight into his opponent tonight. Dunne's grim appearance is something I think most of us have gotten used to seeing. But it's hard to imagine standing across the ring from someone who seems to be in a perpetual state of intensity like Pete Dunne is. And ready to face off against him is the high-flying Wes Lee. It often seems like Lee is more at home in the sky than on the mat, Corey. I mean, he did spend time in the Air Force before landing in WWE, Saxton. I don't know if anything in this world can keep Wes Lee grounded. Pete Dunne has earned a reputation as a... From the top, double stop! It looks like Wes Lee's wings got clipped a bit there. Yeah, and you can see the intensity radiating off of Pete Dunne right now. It's pretty intimidating. And Wes can't stop any offense coming his way. This is that ferocity we talked about earlier. Pete Dunne is always ready to flip that switch and go on the attack. Oh, oh foot just stomping down. Done with a great counter. Oh, stop. Ooh. Dunne heads up high. Blast off. Done. Chest and Wes is one step quicker. He turns it around. Short punch. Oh, man. Kick to the face. And Wes's counter. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Just stomping every single part of his body. My goodness, did you hear that shot? Him up and down with the X-Plex. He narrowly avoids the count. He's still in 
the fight, but for how much longer? Good defense. Round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Great away. My friends, we have reached the big game set for Dunn. Two. A kick out. I don't believe it. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. Look at Dunn right now. The bruiser weight is livid that this isn't a good timing with that reversal. He saw it coming. Getting him into the corner. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, the counter. Dunn turns that around. We've arrived. It's about time. West went down in a heap. There's two. Oh, he kicked out. I do not know how you survive. Staying alive there is unheard of. Pete Dunn is in a state of disbelief, pushed his opponent to the limit, but they still keep fighting. Have you ever seen such dis- Here's the cover for the win! Is this a- No, no, it isn't! He kicked out, he kicked out! How is that not three? Dunn is out of the way. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. He's looking a little off balance. Standing shooting star press, incredible. And Wes's counter. He'll slide back in the ring now. Wes did his homework. is really dialed in right now. Wes is determined right now, looking unfazed. Wes landing. Dunn looking to end this thing. Has it set up for the game. Unloading their best shot once more. Two. And a kick out. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Look at Dunn right now. The bruiser weight is livid that this isn't over. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Dunn is so dangerous. No half measure from Dunn. You can just feel the intensity of every attack he un... Oh, Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet... Victory. Yeah, big win for that young man. And wait a minute. What's he thinking now? He's thinking he's not finished. He wants to stop a hole in him. Boy, this match is over. Time to party with the Prophets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
accompanied by Montez Ford, representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Angelo Dawkins. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented, they're tough, and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment, and coming from me, that means something. You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. Now here comes a very dangerous group. Brought their own style of Lucha Libre to NXT and look to redefine what Lucha Libre tradition and his opponent is all accompanied by Raul Mendoza, representing Legado del Fantasma from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. Joaquin! men who will win at any and all cost. Already renowned as the best high flyers in all of NXT, a true dangerous group. Such discipline, a bright future for this team and all of its members, without a doubt. accumulated national titles in three different sports while in college. Dawkins says he's always been driven to succeed by his highly competitive nature. And that same competitive spirit has continued to drive him. Dawkins never seems satisfied with his own success. He's always hustling for his next big opportunity. Well, Dawkins has a big opportunity here in this match. Two. And standing across from him, Joaquin Wilde, a disciple of Legado del Fantasma with an fanatical devotion to the Lucha style. And to Wilde, Lucha Libre is a way of life, a style of art. All he cares about is perfecting that art and building a new Lucha Libre legacy with himself. Right hand and... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. This is not good. Look at outside the ring. Things are about to explode. Here comes the referee to try to restore some order. Yeah, good. No. Good. He didn't do anything wrong. Hit the road, Jack. And he's gone, too. This is ridiculous. No, it isn't. Even playing field now. And Corey Joaquin Wilde is a kind of hybrid luchador. What does one have to do to count for that? To quote Santos Escobar, if you see this man in the air, that's the end of you. So keep Wilde grounded. Don't let him get confident or confident. Wow, look at that agility. From way up, nice handle connects. Double stop. Oh, kick connects. Taking the blunt of that. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. So precise with the super kick. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Up high. Oh, splash! Oh, stop, Mayor Driver. Such a beautiful display from an atomic drop and, and a an kick to the face. Will that stop Dawkins? Is it enough? Two. Amazing. He's in total.
disbelief, that did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. And I think taking flight, <laughs> diving body splash. And Wilde is in control. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. He's got him scouted. <laughs> and Wilde with the wherewithal to counter. Connects on the kick. Uh, working on the arm. Just caught flush. Now uh, trampling the opposition. And connects. So precise with the super kick. Wild top turnbuckle. To the skies. Can Wild close things out? That's gotta be it. Two. Oh, and he just kicked out. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. You gotta imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, Joaquin Wild. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. people provided the light now he sows seeds of discontent in the locker room the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from chicago illinois weighing in at 182 pounds mustafa ali this is a man who was once the infamous SmackDown hacker who took pleasure in revealing superstars' hidden secrets. Psychopath. He also caused physical chaos with retribution, attacking superstars. Remember, Corey, the night they, they destroyed and then chased us out of the Performance Center? Yeah, I'd rather not relive that horror, Cole. But the fact is, Mustafa Ali is still on a mission to tear down WWE to its very foundation. A uh, win here tonight goes towards proving that mission statement. Well, the Austrian anomaly. And many would say the toughest competitor in all of Europe. Beyond Europe, Saxton, Walter's on his way to dominating the entire globe. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter! I'll tell you, classical music has never sounded this frightening. Six foot four, nearly 300 pounds, bringing the hardest chops since Ric Flair to the table. He is so impressive, Walter. One of the most dominating individuals in the history of the company.
If somehow Walter's massive frame doesn't overpower you, his grappling skills absolutely will. The ring general about to remind the world why the mat is sacred to him. Walter's sense of superiority has only been inflated by his Imperium cohorts. It's not a sense of superiority, Cole. Walter is superior. He just wants to remind people that the ring is a sacred place, and he's going to remind them in a very painful way. Cockiness or confidence, there's no doubt that Walter is militant in his quest. And across the way, you have Mustafa Ali, a talented and nefarious competitor whose only agenda is to create as much chaos as possible both in the ring and behind the scenes. Ali's made his intentions very clear. He's here to bring down the entire W. Sky high. Splash! Overhand right lands. Oh, man! Corey Walter manhandles his opponent and leaves them battered and bruised. How can someone walk away from a match with the ring general with minimal lumps? Well, it's hard to get manhandled when Walter can't get his hands on you. Yeah. Here we go. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Quick exchange of counters there. Position to be caught in here. Yeah. Oh, on, that's enough. Third time's a charm. And that Ever just silenced Ali. Two. And he's still in the game. Wow, just an unbelievable kick out from Mustafa Ali. He must be a glutton for punishment tonight. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Counter on Walter. And respond to the counter. He's able to fend off the attack. He reverses it. Set up for the original leg sweep. Nice 
nicely done. Saw that one coming up high. Walter sidesteps that. This is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some.
convincing victory here. Getting it done the hard way. Ali's flight plan just got altered tonight with that loss. He'll rebound, don't worry. Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. Jimmy and Jay. Some very, uh, well, bad managers, but they've managed to grow through the years to become one of the all-time greats. The sons of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Jimmy and Jay, one of the most exciting teams of this generation. It's the Fashion Popo. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 456 pounds, the team of Tyler Breeze and Fondango, Breezango. They're Fondangoing. <laughs> I love Fondangoing. I'm pretty Come sure on. that doesn't count as a verb. You're such a party pooper. Yeah. tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. What a collision! Ah, look at this. Oh, that can break an arm. Catches the leg. And there goes Jimmy Uso, set to the outside hard. Oh my goodness! 
to strike it at will. Stomping down. Big kick right to the gut. Oh, what a jumping headbutt. He's lost some of his win now. What a shot. Climbing to the top rope. From the top.
Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Jimmy Uso and company with the win. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. The Empress of Tomorrow. And one of my all-time favorite superstars. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Osaka, Japan, the women's champion, Innovative pioneer outside and inside the ring. In over 914 days without a loss in NXT and WWE. That may be the most impressive of all. You know, I really missed Asuka. You guys get it? Missed? I think I might vomit green liquid after that joke, Saxton. And her partner from Las Vegas, Nevada, the WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. Sit up straight, Saxton. It's time to class up the joint. The sassy Southern Bell has arrived. And from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Saxton, you ought to get a woman like Lacey Evans to keep you in line. I'm good just the way I am. But I, I'll tell you what, her questionable personality traits aside, Lacey Evans has had some pretty incredible victories against top talent like Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae. A true lady with grace and confidence. How can you not love Lacey?
And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Caitlin Wood Man. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. Uh-oh. We wondered how well these two are going to be able to mesh together as a tag team, considering they really can't stand each other. She was expecting that. No, not at all. I can't believe these two worked together. They really did. What did you say about working together? Exactly. That wasn't shocking to anybody. This team has officially imploded. Uh. Evans with the retaliation. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Lacey fends that off. And she's in off the tag. Oof. Lands the haymaker. Miss timing with that springboard. Wind him up, boom, knock him down, ouch. another look at what made that match so special.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 290 pounds. The Punisher, Keith Wolf. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. every time he competes. The flops are off, and that means Riddle is ready. We're about to see a grappling clinic. I think the first thing anyone notices about Riddle is his incredibly lax demeanor. That Riddle is one laid-back pro. Never seems to have any worry in the world. But I do have to say, all that goes away when the bell rings, as I'm sure we'll see here tonight. But don't discount the man he's facing. A man who has been counting the minutes to getting this fight started. Tiger fake kick! Off the turn, Producing a trampling. Boy, what a kick. He's getting a little batter now. Uncorks another one. Since arriving in WWE, one thing that has stood out to me about Riddle is his remarkable toughness. Does his ability to shake off pain give him an edge tonight? Absolutely. Riddle's time in the MMA world has shaped him into an incredibly resilient competitor. The way he can shrug off strikes can make it difficult to slow him down when he's on an offensive run. Oh. Great job anticipating Riddle. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Arms trapped. This is unique. Look at this face first. Goes into the pin. Two count, big kick out. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh, good night. Sorry. This is what you call high risk. High reward. Uh oh. Way too low. Oh, diving moonsaults. The body is starting to fail at this point. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. We're going to be on Dream Street. Looking for the victory. Two. Two. And they're still in this. Riddle refuses to quit. What an impressive kick out for Riddle. I think there's still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Excellent opportunity for Riddle to shift the momentum. This could be a good chance for Riddle to unleash something devastating. Riddle is waiting a bit now. I think this Riddle's almost solid. Ooh. No way. Astounding power. to stay in this. A new strategy is 
needed right about now if that couldn't end things. I'll tell you this, guys, no competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot to end this fight. We are just seeing sheer perseverance. Nothing is being left back. Face first, driver. Looking for him in the entranceway. Oh, well, hold on. From the crowd. Hard shot from behind. Oh, this is ridiculous. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, ready to prove his worth on his own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Impressive resume for Roderick Strong, a multi-time NXT Tag Team Champion, has also held the NXT North American title. Roderick Strong bringing his impressive array of backbreakers to the ring tonight. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. And I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. <laughs> I love this. An entrance befitting of a true superhero. And the best part about it, Saxton, is this isn't a movie. This isn't a comic book. This is real life, not CGI, not special effects. Ricochet is the real deal. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet is set for action. Just amazing to watch if the match isn't even started yet. Well, Ricochet better be careful not to tire himself out before the bell rings. You can start the countdown now. We are moments away from another imminent highlight when Ricochet is in action. One of the most incredible athletes in WWE today. Strong is a competitor whose stock has only continued to rise since he debuted. But it was his choice and allies that truly put him on the fast track to success. Yeah, Strong's taste in friends really did help him instantly elevate himself and his confidence in the ring. But whether he's running with a pack or on his own, he's one formidable competitor. Strong has a razor sharp mind for in the top. Knee strike connects. When you look at this matchup, Corey, what is it going to take for Roderick Strong to walk away with the win? Strong needs to go deep into his playbook. He needs to pull out all the stops and maybe employ some of his most hard-hitting and innovative offense. Oh, man. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. If this lands, it's over. Athletic dodge from Ricochet. Athleticism from Ricochet. Counter after counter. 
Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, oh. Knees right to the spine. Ah. Oh, God. Just a step ahead of Strong. Ricochet powers him up. Driven down. And shoulders are down. There's two. And he kicks out at two. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Placed into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Sight set on the top rope. If this lands, it's over. Most impressive moves I've ever seen. Jarring impact. Really just laying it in. He's looking a little weary now. And this match is not over yet. Close line over the top to the floor. I'm pretty sure he's not done. Oh, suicide dive. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Ricochet. Strong is down, and he is out. Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. How is Roderick Strong still in this? Roddy's fortitude is next level, Saxton. Ricochet needs to stick to his game plan. Uh-uh. No way. You get the sense he's willing to do whatever it takes to put this match in the books. And I think the realization is beginning to creep in. He may have to do something spectacular. He may have to reach deep into his playbook to figure something out to earn a win. Oh, my God. Here it comes. Oh, my God. Incredible burst of energy from Ricochet. An impressive assault from Ricochet. Are you kidding me? He fades the attack. Great drop kick. Strong turns that around. Strong managing to find some much needed breathing room. The U turn he needed in this match. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Ricochet is so evasive. He slides back into the ring. Could be the tie turner. He saw it coming, taking it back. Oh, but can Ricochet close this? Two, three. No, no, no. The shoulders were not down. The referee was right on top of it. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Uh uh. No way. him up Bang. with that ricochet saying you add respect on my name every time time for takeoff amazing for the win two emphatic victory many would consider this an upset byron yeah, a hard-fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin.